What's up everyone, Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, joined by my friend Steven from Mental Lessons. How's it going everybody? How are you doing, bud? I'm doing great, Carlos. How are you? I am great. Day off. I work seven days straight. I'm off today and tomorrow. Very yeah. happy. <laughs> so today we have something new from the house of Cinque Canto. Cinque Canto is a house by perfumer Paolo Terenzi, mm -hmm. whom, you, whom you may know from Tiziana Terenzi line. Definitely, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. it's called Arsenico. It was released this year in 2017, and it is a good one. Awesome. Check out this beautiful packaging. It's amazing. So it has a few knickknacks in here, right? We yes. have a bottle, we have a ring, mm -hmm. an actual wearable ring. Yes. And, Which uh, you can send. Yes. So uh, can we try to open it up on camera? <laughs> Go for it. I was trying to do this off camera and it clicks into place and I just wanted to not mess it up, but here we go. It opens up just like this. It has a little foam padding on the inside where you would spray it with the actual fragrance. Like this, like that. Then you would close it up. And then as you wear it, it just sort of wafts around you. So if that's your personality, you like to be kind of blingy and showy. It's a little too gaudy for my taste. I don't think I'll be rocking that. It smells awesome soon. though. It does. It smells amazing. <laughs> you can place it like on your desk or something. Yeah. And yeah. What? I guess I'm just going to wear it for the review and we'll see how it Bro, wafts. Bro, that's not you. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. We'll, it's, we'll I'm wearing it. it. You can do it for my neck. All right, fine. <laughs> Please. So what do we know about the inspiration for this wonderful fragrance. Right. So the kind of the story behind the ring is that it was worn by Lucretia, mm -hmm. uh, Lucretia Borgia, who was the daughter of Pope Alexander the mm Sixth, -hmm. and it is rumored that she car carried, excuse me, a hollow ring just like that one, in which she used to store arsenic, hence yes. the name of the fragrance, Arsenico. that she would use to <laughs> poison her victims, which is pretty crazy. So daughter of a pope poisoning people. What yeah, right. That? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But uh, for um, a fragrance that kind of smell like arsenic, I guess, w doesn't it come from almond? Or is it cyanide? I'm, not, sh I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't want to say because I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> yeah, there is no almond in here though. I forget which one it uh, comes from. But it's pineapple, mm -hmm. birch tar, bergamot, red currant. We have musk, cedarwood, mm -hmm. um, some other- Nargamoda. Nargamoda, which gives it a slightly smoky quality. Uh, but from that note breakdown, you kind of expect it to smell like a particular fragrance. Yes. Which starts with an A, like this one. Yeah. And it does. Yeah. For a brief moment. Yes, and it does change a lot. Yes. So what do you get mostly from this one on your skin? <clears throat> I get that bright pineapple fresh thing going on, which does remind me for a brief moment of the A that shall be not be named. Yeah. But it goes extremely, like, very woody and very yeah. full. And very just like this beautiful aroma, you know that that particular freshness and the the accord that we're used to from Aventus. Yeah, it stays for a minute, but it, it doesn't last throughout the whole right. fragrance for me on my skin anyway. Yeah, I would agree totally. Even for Aventus with me, once it starts drying down, you have the vanilla and the amber and the musky nuances in the base. And for this one, it seems like it leans more woodsy, mm -hmm. which I kind of like, that it's not a clone or a dupe, it's a fragrance all in its own right. And it's really well done, like it's really well put together. And it, it's so much not a clone that I didn't even no, want to mention it in it, this video. Yeah. And please forgive me, Mr. Terenzi, no disrespect, because this is a great fragrance on its own. It does have a little resemblance, but other than that, it goes it's very Italian. It's yeah. very full. It's very dark, mysterious. Um, it's not for everyone. Right. This is not a crowd pleaser fragrance. This is for somebody who appreciates something nice and full. And it definitely has a certain mis mystery about it. It does. It does. I looked online and it's marketed as a unisex release. Mm -hmm. I do think it leans a little bit more masculine though. I would what agree. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, there's really no, there's no moment like where, I, oh, it's too powdery or it's too vanillic or, yeah. or too floral. It, 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 it stays pretty much in a, in a, in a, in a masculine path, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's definitely the impression that I get from this one. Now, where, is this available at any store yet? <clears throat> as far as I know, it's only available online, but it's a European line. It's called First and Fragrance. It's a very oh, popular website. Yeah. yeah. So... I know Notino carries this, but it's too new for them to carry it. But the brand, I mean, uh, right, uh, right, right. Cinque Canto. But as far as buying this actual fragrance, it's 
only on first and fragrance. Awesome, yeah. I've used them before. I totally trust them. I bought my um, opulent shike from them. Ah, I don't want to try that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. How do you like it on me? I'm wearing it. I put it on before. Yeah, the woods are really coming out. There's a hint of a sweetness to it, mm -hmm. perhaps the vanilla. Um, but it's nice. It's nice. It's masculine. It's not overbearing. It doesn't smell anything like Aventus. Not I mean, now, that, anyway. Yeah. It's just that first spray for a brief moment. But um, all fragrances containing pineapple are plagued by that now. You know? Oh well, what are you going to do? Um, it doesn't project immensely. It's kind of more of an atmospheric fragrance, if you will. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of those, like, you think you don't smell it, but when you walk by, it's, oh, I smell that. Yeah. I yeah. wore it that night to that meeting for scents. Okay. And when I first walked in, I, you, you mentioned my fragrance, so you smelled it from all the way over did, there yeah. at the table. So. <laughs> so it does project. It's a blue velvet bottle, blue velvet case, Chinka Kanto on Gorgeous. the outside. Gorgeous presentation, yeah, this here, everything about it. the ring. So, as always, I would love to share a 10ml decant with a worldwide subscriber. Anyone can join this one. Subscribe to work with Burgers Lover. Subscribe to Burgers Lessons. <laughs> like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what you found most interesting about this presentation of Cinque Canto Arsenico. That's a great name. I love it. It is. It's That's a great, great name. name. So, um, hope you enjoyed. We always have fun doing this for you, and uh, we will catch you with the next review. Take care. What's up, everyone? I'm Carl, so welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Again, joined by my friend Stephen from Metal Essence. How's it going, everybody? Today we have something new from the house of Cinque Tanto. Chicken. 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 So it's a blue velvet bobble. Bobble. <laughs> I like this blue bobble. What do you think? Stop it. What do you think? 